Whenever we see our favorite pros dropping like 10 or more kills on stream, for sure, it's impressive. You can't hate on them, okay? It is impressive. But those are usually in lower skill lobbies. Let's just be honest, guys. Even though it's still awesome, the competition just can't reasonably compete. What's even more impressive in our eyes are the players that consistently come out on top in pro lobbies and tournaments. What's going on, guys? This is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. I'm back again, rooting for you every single day because I want you guys to be the best you could be, not only in this game, but also in life. You gotta succeed, man. You gotta make this your own. Own it. It's yours. Connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. I would love to hear from you. I really, really would. Today, we're gonna be counting down our top five picks of the deadliest players in Fortnite. I'm excited for this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These guys dominate the pro lobbies out there regardless of the game mode. They've shown time and time again that they are cut above the rest. These guys are averaging, or we're about to take it way back to when Le LeBron James just first joined Miami. All right, not three, not four, not even five kills per game in the toughest matches out there. It's not an easy thing to do. Being able to consistently pull that off truly shows the entire world that they're the best of the best. All right, so before we get this started, we're going to ask you guys this. Show your love to pro guys by smashing that like button. Remember, if you smash it, just don't break it, all right? Because you're not going to look for me. I'm not paying for nothing. I'm not paying for nothing. Just smash it gently. It only takes seconds and really helps us produce these videos. More videos is going to make you better, so it's a win-win situation. We also noticed that most of you guys haven't visited our website. We don't know what's going on with that, but you guys are missing out. I'm here to tell you right now because we've added all new analysis videos and trending articles along with on-demand 24-7 coaching. So click that link and check us out. Okay, to start off with our number five pick, we've got my guy, Thomas. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, hold up. Hold up one second. Who is Thomas? Thomas? What is the world coming to? My goodness. Are you just picking random guys? Hey, little Bobby, first of all, you need to calm down. I think you need the Snickers because you're not yourself when you don't have your Snickers. Get the Snickers, please. Calm down, okay? To answer that question, he's an up-and-coming controller player that has been recently placing very well on the NA West leaderboards, so we definitely had to include him on our list. <laughs> For real though, look at these results, okay? Two first place finishes in the cash cup, say what? as well as couple more top 10s, really. Then in trios, he and his team have been consistently placing in the top 10 with a couple of firsts to boot. For that level of results, ladies and gentlemen, Thomas is hugely underrated. One thing that really stands out after watching him play is his early game prowess. Not only do his great box fighting skills play in his favor, but the aggression is so unexpected and well executed, his opponents often have no clue what to do. They're like, what am I gonna do? Exactly, you don't know what to do. And they're not even bad players by any means. These guys, oh, they're top of their region. And Thomas makes them look like nothing. What we do love about Thomas is that his plays aren't too flashy. Maybe it's because he's on a controller, but he rarely bursts out of the moves. He does from time to time, but typically he just focuses on executing the fundamentals. Things like crosshair positioning, keeping track of the enemy, character movement, and anticipating peaks are just some of the skills he uses to get kill after kill. So Thomas is a free agent now, and he's currently not part of any organization, but with his recent results, we definitely see a signing coming up in the foreseeable future. If Anthony Davis can get to the Lakers, then anything is possible. So, for our number four pick, we've got Unknown Army. As far as an aggressive controller player, this guy right here is one of the best. We featured this North American player in one of our videos a few months ago. Back then, his aggressive play style was so well executed, it qualified him for the World Cup. And lately, nothing's changed. He's still been killing it in all the recent competitions. I'm talking three first place finishes for the Champions Cup, as well as a first place finish in the Contenders Cup. Four first place finishes in an online tournament with thousands of participants. That's crazy! Along with multiple other great results, that level of consistency is just nuts for anybody doing solo competitions. Watching Unknown play is a treat in itself. I don't even need my Bunch of Crunch. I could just watch him play. All right, you know what? I, I take that back. I, I need my Bunch of Crunch. I'm a little addicted to my Bunch of Crunch. Bunch of Crunch, come here. Even though his building abilities are somewhat limited due to playing on a controller, he pushes past any sort of setback with his amazing aim, movement, and execution. Saying his aim and movement are amazing is pretty self-explanatory. But what do we mean by this execution? Well, he almost never messes up a play. Yeah, he's... Pretty close to perfect. I'm very jealous of him, yes. 
When it comes to getting the right builds off, positioning in the right spot, and timing his plays, Unknown executes his strategies and techniques with a high degree of perfection. Just take a look at this match from one of his champion Cash Cup performances. This guy averaged 6.3 kills per game that week, and this game here shows just how he did it. From the start, he's straight up pushing everybody. Pushing players during the mid game is typically risky in that it ends usually in disaster. But in this match, Unknown remains patient, has some great timing, and carries out some brilliant plays to pull it off. Like, he shows up to a fight and he, like, makes a move. His opponents turn on him, so he goes back to waiting for the right time to strike. With that patience and good execution, he manages to pick up both the kills. Bravo. Bravo. Because it's not just about pure aggression that works, guys. Correctly, timed aggression is what's key, my friends. So, going into the end game, he's got himself 8 limbs and a great loadout. But the aggression just doesn't stop. This guy is a madman. He racks up another six kills in a matter of minutes here. Uh, wait, hold on. Did you just hear what I said? He racks up another six kills. <laughs> okay, wow. It's astonishing to see him push and kill full HP players like it's nothing. Even when he doesn't even really need to, most players prioritize playing defensively, like you and I, and staying alive at this point in the game, but not unknown. That's probably why his name is unknown, because there's no unknown like him. I just thought of that. <laughs> he runs up to those guys and box fights them for easy kills. And when I say easy kills, uh, the kills definitely aren't easy to get. He just makes it look really easy. For number three, we got the legend himself, ladies and gentlemen, Mongrel. So, what's there to say that hasn't been said before? That wasn't Mongrel, that was me. Anyways, Mongrel's one of the most popular competitive players out there. He's got an electrifying attitude and passion for the game that just exudes when he's on the battlefield. Even though he gets kills and wins games all the time, the energy just doesn't stop. And hearing his war cry every single time he lasers somebody or gets a knock still makes me laugh. <laughs> That's my guy, love that guy. Mongrel, probably best known for his insane mechanics, is arguably one of the best builders and box fighters in the world. What people don't give him enough credit for, in our view, is his aim. His aim is just some of the best we've ever seen. Seriously, if you ever end up in an in-game lobby with him, do yourself a favor, never use a launch pad. His rifle accuracy is just off the charts. It's crazy how much control he has over the recoil of some weapons, especially the infantry rifle. When I use it, I can land maybe like one in every three shots, whereas when Mongrel uses it, <laughs> he lands headshot after headshot after headshot on targets zooming past his screen. I hate you. No, I'm just playing. But dang it. His most legendary play was probably back during the World Cup qualifiers. When his duo partner went down, Mongrel went into the end game alone with five kills. But with confidence, he starts picking up more left and right. Like most pros probably would have just played for some placement points, but for Mongro, he saw the situation that was what it was, an opportunity for him to get a bunch of more kills. In the end, this guy racked up nine more kills by himself and got his team a well-earned dub. Mongro's so deadly, one week he decided to play in the NAE Solo Cup while in Europe. I'm sure a lot of you guys know the feeling of how hard it could be when you play it on a high ping. But for this guy, it didn't matter. He popped off anyways and got a third place finish, averaging just over three kills per match. NA East is no slouch of a region, and so it's massively impressive that he was able to do that. When he plays on his own server, the results are just way more consistent. Along with his teammates Mitro and Benji Fishy, they in the Fortnite Championship Series, they finished first place in three out of the five qualifier weeks and second place in the two other weeks. Retail Row was their landing spot. Anybody who contested them and their free zombie loot would feel mongrel's wrath. <laughs> yeah, you didn't want to get that. Going into Season 11 and the upcoming squads tournament, Mongo's team looks nasty. On paper, this team is fantastic. Aqua and Stompy have been together for a while now, and so have Mongo and Benji. Should everything work out, I have a feeling that Mongo and his team are going to take it all next season. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for our next pick, we've got Zex Row. We're sure most of you guys have heard his name before. This TSM member is a competitive Fortnite veteran, and he has been around nearly since the beginning. He's had a few good placements in recent solo cups, but seems to mainly focus on team-based modes. With that focus, his trio managed to grab first place in the FNCS Season X Finals. 
but you say, but but that's a team-based mode. Yeah, I understand, but uh, but check out the footage that's playing right now. Zexro is by himself and pulls off what is probably one of the greatest Fortnite plays of the year. And along with his other accomplishments, this beautiful display cemented a spot for Zexro on our list. With both of his teammates dead, Zexro manages to outmaneuver and outplay six pro players. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, a one versus six scenario. And he comes out on top. We're talking like the likes of Cloaksy, Tifu, and 72 Hours to start with. Then he cleans up another pro trio, Rooks, Pika, and Joel. You could argue that these trios didn't play it very well, and yeah, that's somewhat true. There was definitely a bit more going on here than just the teams versus Zexro, but it does not take away from how well he played here, you know? Being able to maneuver well enough to defend yourself against oncoming spam is one thing, but he's also isolating these players and finding openings most of us would never see. Our favorite is when he places a rotated ramp for cover and surprise one pump Tifu. Most pros wouldn't even think of doing a move like that and would probably just die while focusing on the finish. But not Zexro, he plays for each and every kill and ends up scooping them all up like ice cream. Yeah, I said it, ice cream. What you know about that, cookies and cream? It's no wonder he and his trio won the championship series, man. For our number one pick, it's Mitro. This 17-year-old Dutch player has been considered one of the best in the world for over a year now. And recently, he's been popping off so much, we just had to put this guy at number one. Seriously, just look at these results. Consecutive third, second, and first place finishes for the Solos Champ Cup. Two first place wins for the Trios Cup, winning just about every FNCS week. And sixth place at the World Cup? Holy moly. There's a reason why hashtag free Mitro was trending on Twitter for so long. With how good this guy is, Mitro definitely deserves to be playing for a top tier org. What makes Mitro so good compared to other pros? His amazing mechanical abilities play a huge role for sure. His builds and edits are always fast and his aim is on point nearly 100% of the time. But what set this guy above the rest is his game sense. Mitro is just one of those players that'll make high IQ moves all the time, and combined with his mechanics is what allows him to average over 4 kills a match in this insanely tough solo lobby. I think the play that first brought our attention to Mitro was way back in last year's fall skirmish. He was in a 1v1 situation, holding the high ground. Instead of just playing the high ground and risking a loss to the heal off, he makes this shockwave grenade play that, <laughs> so far, nobody has ever seen. It worked so well and secured him a first place finish for that week. Going forward, Mitro sadly won't be squatting up with Mongrel. <laughs> Give me some tissue. For the Season 11 Championship Series, those two have been together for months, and so it is kind of a shock, you know, to a lot of fans. But we're sure that no matter what team Mitro does end up on, with him on the roster, they'll be a force to be reckoned with. Once again, this is your guy. That's right, your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to connect with me as soon as you can on my Instagram. Look, this is your year. Be confident because you got to know that there's greatness on the inside of you and it's about to come out. Hope you're ready for that. Not just in this game, but also in life. For real. Thanks for watching this video. If any of the players piqued your interest, their channels are in the description, so be sure to check them out. If you think there is a deadlier player than who we put on our list, hey, just drop their name in the comments and let us know. As always, smash that like button if you enjoyed the video and be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified for upcoming tips, tricks, and players analysis videos like this one. Thanks guys, we'll see you soon.